what is power management? Yeah, well, I talk about how um, in the in my work with the uh, leaders, uh, I, I talk to them about how that they are the main source of power in their organization. And I talk about how you don't want a leader who is underpowered because if you are underpowered, then you're not generating electricity. I, I tell people to think of their power as like a, a city power grid, right? If you're underpowered, you're not generating electricity, meaning so if you're not really giving direction, you're not articulating a vision, you know, you're underpowered and it's not going to work. If you're overpowered, if you're maniacal and you're melting down like Chernobyl, you know, that's not good either. You have to be centered in your power and have a power, a sense of power that is not overwhelming and not under not underperforming, but which is pulsating regularly to uh, give people the insights that they need. Then what I do in my work, um, sometimes I just work with the CEOs, but sometimes I also work with their leadership teams and sometimes at their own organizations, so their whole organization. And what that work is about is about driving decision making down in their organization so that other people can take responsibility for decisions and other people can be powerful. Because I want to drive power down in the organization so that more people are responsible and accountable. And also so more people can exercise their abilities. I mean, I think where companies do not do well is when they when they um, concentrate all power in the hands of a couple of people and other people they perceive other people as kind of fungible um you know people that just do their bidding there's a lot of talent in these companies but it has to be brought to the surface and that's only done by giving people the opportunity to advocate for decisions and advocate for power yeah i love that like it's like i can't stand when the company is just like a dictatorship everybody should have some some sort of power yeah. some semblance of power in the organization and you should be thinking about growing your people like you're growing your plants it's easier to grow your plants your plants don't talk back to you and your plants don't have a different point of view but you know you have to grow your people yeah that's like um even one of my companies, we have a couple multimillionaires that work for us and they don't need to work for us. They, they make great money. They just love the culture of what we build right. and they love being a part of it. And yeah. so that's just, and we of course respect them and we let them do their thing because they're so talented. It's like, why right. would you stifle a, a brilliant person like that? And I think a lot of companies do that. They just want to put them in a box and keep them there and like dictate what they do every day. And it's just, frustrating i think right and part i think a lot of that has to do with the need for control and fear right yeah people really feel that um <clears throat> they've got so much writing on this that if they they feel like if they can't control every aspect of it they're going to lose and the truth of the matter is if they try to control every aspect of it they are going to lose <laughs> yeah. it's the exact inverse of what they're thinking especially the cannabis industry i always say it's a moving target you can't control any of this it's constantly changing 